in this video session let's focus now on the mesh topology and uh, in mesh topology yeah, we have the in the manual we have uh, the circuit given here n0 n1 n3 all of them connected to each other by duplex links and we have the specification as well of the links and then tcp at n0 ftp and the specifications here likewise udp at n1 and the application here specifications here and these applications uh, the data generated is uh, received by n2 at the sink and null respectively so let's get back to ubuntu in okay, fact before that let's uh, yeah have this uh, circuit as well uh, for our reference so let's minimize this we have at one corner we can go back here we know what uh, we know how to start the network scenario generator java minus jar nsg let's do a tab yes we have got the nsg so we start it network scenario wired and then nodes n0 n1 n2 yeah there is no connecting device then we go to links a link uh, we want the links or the manual is saying the link should be of 3 mbps delay and these are fine so we connect the links n0 n1 n1 to n2 n2 to n3 then we go to the agents agent tcp got to be connected here and tcp sync is required at uh, n2 and uh, tcp and the sync got to be connected likewise we want the udp at n1 and we want the udp null at n2 we connect this udp and the null and uh, the application we want it to start at one second stop it at 8 seconds ftp it needs to be connected to tcp likewise cbr start 18 packet size also we want them to be 1500 rate we want it to according to manual manual says 2 mbps so we have kept it as 2 and it needs to be connected here and in the parameters we say uh, we name the tr file that we want to use as 03 and this is mesh so we call it as mesh and likewise the name also we want it to be the name of it to be dot mesh dot name let me also save this as default done and then we go to tcl we have got the tcl script here we save the tcl script in our home directory so we'll save it as the naming convention that we have been using that is let's get mesh dot name let's save it and then let's go back to the command prompt in the terminal so we should have them mesh here okay mesh has been named as uh, dot nam as well so let's quickly correct this it's a uh, code and uh, yeah here's it it is let's rename it and remove that extra nam that is there because it will cause confusion so let's rename it we have renamed it so we come back here do a ls so yeah we have the mesh.tcl so we have the tcl file that needs to be given to network simulator 03 mesh yeah we are giving it to the simulator simulator has in fact successfully compiled it and then it has also generated the nam file and the terrace file so it, and it has also brought up the network animator so let's uh, organize this little bit better so we drag this to the sides yeah and then we start playing so when we start playing we know that the traffic will start generating at approximately one second here so let's wait for some time or we can also increase the steps here so i'm just dragging the step size increasing it yeah we have we are seeing now the traffic flowing so we can see that this is udp traffic from 1 to 2 and this is tcp traffic from 0 to 
to and then the acknowledgements going back so we are happy with uh, i mean we have done with whatever the manual had said so if you want we will just fast forward it so that the animation is over quickly we will close this off and uh, we can since we have successfully seen this we will also close the nsc then we want to see the performance statistics now and to see the performance statistics in fact the mesh you can see that atr file has been generated so we use awk minus f and mgat is the awk of script is written in mgat wide dot awk and then we want to analyze 03 dot mesh dot tr so when we run this we can see all the statics lists are there of cbi this is udp this is for ACK and we'll just scroll a slightly little bit up and we have the TCP statistics also. The same thing, we'll have to capture it in, like we had done previously, we'll have to capture it here. The TCP statistics go here and the UDP statistics go here. So let's capture them. TCP, let's start with TCP. TCP is flowing from, let me use the TCP. Yeah, we are using black color, right? So it is going from zero node, zero port, to second node, zero port. It's of type TCP, 1500, and then one second, and 8.07, 17, not nine, no drops, no retransmissions, no duplicates. All the seventeen not nine have transferred. Hundred percent delivery, zero percent drops, and then on the average, they have taken seven point zero seven seconds, and the throughput you can see it is approximately two point nine Mbps. So interestingly, you can see the observations here that uh, for star, uh, there are only 617 that went through. Whereas for mesh, we have almost a double or uh, three times of this going through. That is the throughput has, it was one Mbps here, it has gone to three Mbps. The reason is we know in the star that uh, it had a dedicated link between uh, zero and two, whereas here, in, sorry, in the mesh it had a dedicated link. That's the reason the whole link was used. Whereas in the star, it was sharing, uh, since 0 to 2 was connected by a connecting device, which was shared by UDP also. That's the reason the throughput was lower here. And then, likewise, we can capture for UDP also. UDP, we are using blue color. It was going from 1.0 to 2.1 type CBR, in fact it is UDP, UDP is carrying it, packet says as 15, started at 1 second, completed at 8.0, 11, in fact 11.67 packets went through, interestingly you can see that uh, 11.60, okay, and then there are no drops, 100% delivery, 0% drop rate, and uh, approximately 0.014 seconds on the average it took and the throughput we can see it is uh, 2 mbps so average delay right average delay yeah we just uh, uh, we skipped one column over there in fact uh, yeah this one we skipped it but you know we have done a mistake here so all the packets 1167 were received and all the others should move down. And uh, so approximately we have 2 Mbps throughput here. Okay, we'll stop here. And in the next uh, session, we'll look at the ring. Thank you.